guys. We have an intro now, yes! Big thank you to my older brother Spencer for laying down the awesome track. Guys, big things are happening here, big things. The phone's been ringing off the hook, investors are pouring in, the subs are going up, the budget is, well, we're still losing money, but that's fine. Guys, the show's about to explode. We're going to the moon, baby. Woo! We looked great. Very strong. Fucking right we did, Ricardo. But why did you have to flex in the intro? Are you so insecure about people not thinking you work out that you have to flex on camera? Well, you know, it's 80s themed. I was kind of going for like an 80s action hero, uh, Scarface meets Miami Vice kind of aesthetic. You know, to fit the vibe, you know? It reminded me of Christian Bale, if I'm being honest. Oh, like an American Psycho? Thanks, man. You looked awesome in that movie. No, The Machinist. <sighs> Alright, let's just start the episode, shall we? Dandruff. Guys, ever look down at your shoulder while wearing a black t-shirt and it looks like it's snowing like it's Christmas morning, despite what season that might be? If this is happening to you, chances are it might be dandruff. And if it's not dandruff, no worries. We're gonna talk about what those other reasons might be as well. There's so many reasons why a dry, flaky scalp can occur. Now, in today's episode, we're gonna talk about what those reasons might be and what you can do to help treat them. So what is dandruff? Dandruff is a condition that causes the skin on the scalp to flake off. It can cause general discomfort, itchiness, a foul odor, and can be rather embarrassing to the individual. But that's why we're talking about it on today's show. We don't shy away from insecurities on the show because a lot of us have a lot more in common than we like to let on. So if you're experiencing these symptoms of dandruff, don't sweat, you're not alone. Now it's important to note that I'm clearly not a doctor and any kind of treatment option I do recommend in this video is purely just a suggestion and I always recommend you do your own research and seek professional guidance before beginning any kind of treatment, especially if your condition is more severe. Now before we start treatment, it's important to know if we actually have dandruff, dry scalp, or psoriasis. And yes, there is a difference between all three of them. Despite the symptoms being similar, the treatment options can be very different. Dry scalp. Dry scalp occurs when there's too little moisture on the scalp, causing the skin to become irritated and to flake off. There's many reasons why this could happen. For example, exposure to cold, dry air, think the winter time, maybe you have a sensitivity to a certain hair product that you're using on your scalp, like your shampoo, maybe a high alcohol content hairspray or hair gel, or it could just be because of older age. That's a bad one. For treatment for a dry scalp, consider using a shampoo that's advertised as a gentle shampoo with a moisturizing conditioner and perhaps try swapping out your daily hair styling product and check the label to see if there's an alcohol content on there or not. Because if there is, chances are the alcohol is what's causing your scalp to dry out. A way to test to see if you actually have dry scalp or not is to apply a moisturizer to your scalp before bed and the next day when you wake up before you shower, if you're still experiencing those dry flaky like scales on your scalp, chances are you don't have dry scalp and you actually have dandruff or psoriasis. Dandruff. Dandruff is caused by seborrheic dermatitis. This is a condition that causes the skin to become red, oily, and scaly, and causing flakes to happen on the scalp, which tend to be white or yellow in color, and when these scales flake off the scalp, that's what we call dandruff. Dandruff is triggered by a fungus that normally grows on the scalp called malassezia. Now, don't freak out. We all have malassezia on our scalps, just some of us have it more than others. This guy knows fungus. And there are shampoos you can buy over the counter to help combat malassezia, and we call them antifungal shampoos. I'll post some of them up here for you right now. Now guys, it's important to note that if you've been using these shampoos for over four weeks and you're not noticing any change at all in your dandruff, maybe it's time to consider seeing your doctor or a dermatologist and getting prescribed a medical graded shampoo. Now let's talk about psoriasis. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease where pretty much your own body's immune system goes into overdrive and attacks normal tissues in the human body, causing an overproduction of skin cells. Psoriasis usually takes the form of dry, itchy skin with silver-like flakes. Now psoriasis can happen anywhere in the body, but in today's episode, we're gonna talk about just psoriasis on the scalp. Now psoriasis is actually what I have, and I'm gonna tell you guys how I treat my psoriasis on a daily basis. Well, guys, how I treat my psoriasis is just what works for me. It may not necessarily work for you. Everyone's bodies are different, and everyone's bodies are gonna to react to things differently. So it's always important to take everything I say right now with a grain of salt, and to always consult with a medical professional before starting any kind of treatment option for an autoimmune disorder. Now, like I mentioned before, this is what works for me and guys i've tried every over-the-counter shampoo money can buy i've tried medicated prescription strength shampoos you can get from the doctor and yes they do help to relieve symptoms to a certain degree but nothing has ever really helped 
psoriasis is something that you have to deal with on a daily basis. It's never really gonna go away. Yes, symptoms can flare up, they can go away for a period of the time, but it's something that you're gonna have to learn to deal with. So you have to find what works best for you at keeping it at bay. And if over-the-counter shampoos and medicated shampoos work for you, then that's awesome. I just know for myself and my body, it's a combination of different factors. So my daily routine for treating my psoriasis is I do use a coal tar shampoo on a daily basis on the psoriasis affected areas of my scalp. This does help to release some of the symptoms of the psoriasis in terms of the itchiness and the redness and the scales. But what I found guys, which makes the biggest difference, and I know it's gonna sound so cliche, but it is lifestyle changes to your daily routine. Some of these things you guys may not wanna do, it may not make that much of a difference to you or it may not be that important to you, but for me, personally, and you know, all my psoriasis is something I'm insecure about and it does bother me, so I have found that these lifestyle changes do help a lot. The biggest difference is pretty much what you put into your body and what you don't put into your body. For example, I don't drink anymore. It has helped so much with my psoriasis. I know for those that are younger watching this, that may not be an option for you because you guys like to party, but I'm an old man now. I don't care about that stuff anymore. So I found cutting alcohol has helped out a lot. Cutting dairy out of my diet, I found when I became older in my 20s, I became lactose intolerant and not only was it dairy affecting my stomach negatively. Also, it was causing my psoriasis to flare up like crazy. You know, you know what? I'm gonna cut dairy out for a week, see if it makes a difference. And it made a huge difference, guys, in terms of my skin quality. The biggest difference as well is getting in proper nutrients and vitamins, whether that's through a well-balanced diet or supplementation. I'll show you what I take on a daily basis. This may help you guys out, it may not. Can't guarantee anything, but I know that this is what's helped out my body quite a bit as well on a daily basis. And just keeping stress levels down overall. Stress is so bad, guys, when it comes to autoimmune disorders. It really causes really bad flare-ups. So I know in life, you know, there's gonna be stressful times, but whatever you guys can do to help mediate those stress levels, it's gonna help you out so much. All right, guys, that's it for this week's episode. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. Guys, psoriasis, dandruff, dry scalp, these are all things people live with every day and they're quite manageable to live with. Like I said, everything I said in this video is just a suggestion. If you're that worried about your condition and it's not become manageable for you at home anymore, go see a doctor or a dermatologist and seek professional medical advice. And be sure to do your own research and find out what works best for you and your body. My name is Carson the Barber, AKA Barber Toe on Instagram. You can now also follow me on TikTok. <sighs> I'm 28 on TikTok. But yes, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. It does really help with the algorithm and people finding this channel and these videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, my name is Carson, and I'll see you soon with another hair video.